Hi everyone, this is Aral from English for Everyone and this video is about past progressive or past continuous. Okay, so continuous or progressive mean the same, both mean the same thing. We're talking about one tense and that is a, pa um, a past tense. Okay, so past but not simple past. Past progressive or past continuous. It means something that happened in the past and took some time, okay? It was not like this, just for a sec, or even shorter than that. It takes some time, okay? Something that happened some time ago and took some time, okay? Or it, the, it can be a minute ago, it can be 10 or million years ago. We are talking about past and an action that takes time. Okay, so uh, the previous lesson. The previous lesson was about present progressive or present continuous. I have the lesson. If you want, you can click on this eye and watch that video first if you like to. In that lesson, I talked about present continuous and I showed you some photos uh, of some streets around the world and things that were happening we talked about them. I'm going to use those photos again and uh, talk about those things. Imagine I have taken those photos, okay? Imagine I've been out, um, let's say, to London and I have taken this photo. I have taken this photo before, yesterday, 10 years ago, it doesn't matter. I have taken this, t uh, this photo some time ago and I'm uh, now I'm showing you the photo and I'm reporting what was happening around that time when I was taking this photo okay so talking about this let's talk about these people this lady over here she was uh, taking photos she was taking photos so what was she doing she was taking photos the other lady over there was drinking some water so she was drinking water she was taking photos she was taking, uh, drinking some water. Okay, now let's talk about the other photo. The time that I was taking this photo, what was happening? He was driving a bus. So people were driving. What about this lady? She was playing the violin. She was playing music. These ladies over here, these ladies, or let's say those ladies, were laughing, or they were laughing. Okay. Talking about this man, he was checking his phone. I just reported what you could see in the photos, okay? Things that were happening, were taking time while I was taking that photo. Okay, when I was taking photo, this was happening. So, I have listed them over here. So, let me keep one of these sentences and go to details. Let's have an operation on the sentence, okay? Let's analyze the sentence. They were laughing. Okay, they plays the role the role of the subject. So we, the people, the doers of the action, are they. So they is my subject in the sentence. Then I have were laughing, and then sentence finished. So this sentence only needs subject and the verb, but the verb has got two parts. That's why I have three words in this sentence. One is subject, two are the verb. And one is the main verb which takes ing and the other one is the helping verb. So I have subject, and then helping verb and then the main verb which should have ing in this case. So what is to be in this case? Where it can be was if the uh, subject is I, you, uh, I, he, she, and it. This is exactly the same for me, love, when we were talking about present continuous. But the difference is that the verb to be is wasn't there. That's it. The, the rest is the same. Now let's quickly look at the negative form. If you watch the videos, the videos that I have recorded before this one, you by now you know that when we have a helping verb in the sentence, we give it a we give we add not to that one and the sentence is negative. Was and were are helping verbs. 
So easily I can change all these sentences to negative by adding not to was and were. So they were laughing or she was taking photos, she was not taking photos. She was drinking water, she was not drinking water and the rest. You can see them all over here. Our sentence now has got one more thing and that is not. Can we put it anywhere we like? No. Just after the verb to be, which in this case is was or were. And then the sentence is negative. We were talking about something that was not happening around uh, that certain time. Now talking about question, to make all these sentences two questions, we need to t replace the helping verb and the subject. So, she was taking photos, was she taking photos, and if it's written, we need to change that full stop or period to question mark. That's it. She was, she was drinking water, was she drinking water, they were laughing, where were they laughing? Just find your helping verb, take it to the beginning of the sentence, change the full stop to question mark. This is how we make the questions in this case. Last but not the least is the adverb of time. Adverb of time gives more details about the action. We all know that these sentences were something were happening in the past. So we're not talking about present, we're not talking about future. For example, the sentence they were laughing is clear that this was something some time ago, not this time or not in future. Well, when was it? Okay, so when we ask that question, we can add adverb of time to make it more clear. Okay, it was yesterday, it was not 10 years ago. So it is more clear now. Okay, so I can add adverb of time. And the adverb of time that I can use for this time or tense is by mentioning a time and then ago. How? Like a minute ago. Two days ago, a week ago, an hour ago, or the rest. So you can see they all have a unit of time plus ago. So we've mentioned the unit of the time and then ago. That can come to the end of your sentence. Do we need to have it at the end? Yeah, mainly at the end, but you might want to have it in the beginning of the sentence. Well, mainly, normally, what happens that you can find them at the end of the sentence. The other format of the adverbs that you can use with your sentences, your past progressive sentences, is last and then a unit of time. For example, last night, last week, last Monday, last month, and the rest. So you can see them all on the screen. There are some other adverbs that do not have last or ago in their formation and they also refer to sometime in past like yesterday, the day before yesterday and these kind of things. Anything that refers to sometime in past even without last or ago is okay. So these are the adverbs. You can use these with your sentences that are talking about some action in the past that was taking some time. Alright, so that was today's lesson. I hope you've enjoyed it and have learned something out of it, have taken something out of it, and I uh, wish you a good day or maybe night, I don't know, whatever, ahead of you. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care.